Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, got a new car to do to do a channel debut with, um, and it's one I'm personally excited about. So again, this is not mine, this is from my very good friend Dennis, and uh, big shout out to Ken, the middleman. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dennis asked if I'd like to put this X-Ray um, T4 touring car on the channel. And uh, I personally want to have a look at it myself. So I was like, yes, please. Love it. Love these modern day touring car shells as well. And I know a lot of people don't. They say they like the character. And it's more about aerodynamics now. But I just love this shape. I just love it. And I'll talk about it at the end of the video. But I'm definitely going to do my own version. Using one of these modern day shells. When I get a a chassis that will take the... Uh, the well, a modern chassis because the shock towers are really low, hence why you can get this super sort of wedged front end, which is awesome. Anyway, let's bring a camera over and have a look at it. So it's an X-Ray T4 110 touring car. Let's have a look at it. Right, so first things first, as I always say, I love these bodies. I just love them. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. I get it. A lot of sort of lacking the character that, like, I don't know, early 2000s touring car shells had. But, um, oh, look at that. Yeah, big, big fan of this. Have to get myself one of these. Not the chassis, but um, I need to get a touring car for my display. And it has to have these modern shells on in a really cool paint job. Um, anyway, let's take the top off. Right, so my first impressions, because this is the first time me seeing this as you. So what I, I should start by saying this is a the X-ray T4. I don't know if it's got a variant of a T4. I'm not. I don't know enough about it. Um, why? Why I bring that to you is I don't know what year this car is, but I thought X-ray had gone away from the orange alloy. Um, now obviously the shocks on here, the steering arms are orange. Um, so I don't know if that means it's a little bit older or if it's a, a more modern chassis. Apologies, I should actually do my research, but um, I kind of just like looking at them at the same time you you guys do. I'd say this is quite modern. Look at that front shock tower. Yeah, wow, it's a nice piece of kit, isn't it? Other thing, straight away, well, a couple of things. It's, so it's it's made for Lipo, um, but it's not a carbon chassis. That's interesting. That's... That's alloy. Oh wow, okay. That's got an alloy chassis. Okay, didn't expect that. Didn't expect that at all. Sorry, doesn't make great viewing, does it? Beautiful. Oh, Dennis does use nice servos. Um, right, let's get the camera on the higher tripod. Right, so what we got here. That's probably the furthest forward motor I've seen on a touring car, touring car in real life. That is really far forward. Jeez. Um, so, yeah, obviously four-wheel drive, dual belt driven. What a lovely thing. Look at the size of it. Oh, look how tiny that centre spur gear is and that huge pinion. I don't know what pitch it is. 48 dp maybe but I, I, even that i've not i've not seen obviously that pinion's huge but i've that spur gear's tiny yeah very interesting belts are not far off the same length obviously the front is very slightly longer but normally it's a you get a small rear belt and longer front but because that motor's so far forward that's really cool 21 21.5 turn brushless motor censored with hobby wing i think yeah hobby wing speedo noise can't make out what servo it is not that, that matters but it's low profile and it feels so good listen to that oh yeah i need to i think I, every time i play with one of dennis's servos i always say to myself i need to buy myself some nice servos i really do so alloy chassis Carbon upper deck, carbon battery holder, alloy steering, or steering arms anyway. 
love the shocks. So have we got differentials on this? So rear is obviously standard diff. What's the front? Fixed spool, me thinks. Yep, fixed. Not so it's not even a one way, it's just a fixed spool. Very cool indeed. Very light as well. Yeah. I'm I'm a little bit old school though. I mean, I've got no, no doubt this alloy chassis will be awesome. But I like to do, I do like to see a bit of carbon there, I've got to go admit. But I'm just weird like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Not really much more I can show you, is there? It's got alloy. Let's get your alloy at the back. And then on the opposite side, is that alloy? Yeah, that's alloy there. That's cool. Full steering looks to be pretty much alloy. And you've got your rear front arm holder. And then your front one somewhere tucked down there in front of the bulkhead. With some gorgeous little anti-roll bars hidden away. Got anti-roll bars up rear? Yeah. Really hidden away. That's beautiful, Dennis. That is a very, very nice one tenth touring car, my friend. Yeah. Thank you so much for the, uh, letting me see this. Well, um, yep, I'm a big fan of that. Love, I mean, you long term viewers know I love a touring car, no matter old, mi middle aged, or brand new. I love them. Um, and this one's no exception. I, I, I love X Ray. Don't know. I've never. Never race an X-ray touring car. I don't even think I've had one. I mean, I have had X-ray touring cars, um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever ran one, which is such a shame. But I do want an X-ray in my collection at some point. Ideally, the T1. That's the one I'd love. The carbon one. I don't know if the original's called a T1. I'm not sure. But then they did the next one, and I think it might be even a T1R or something. And it's it was it's like the the original X-ray touring car, but full carbon chassis and top deck. It's just gorgeous, and they're still for sale. You see them about, so I'll have to pull my finger out and find a decent one off somebody. Um, but as I, I, I alluded to in, in the beginning of the video, I, I, these modern shells I absolutely love. So I think at some point I'm gonna gonna get a hold of the Tamiya T. What is it? T uh, T O. T808 Pro, um, I think it's a T8 Pro, yeah, I'm sure it is, belt driven. Um, it's supposed to be a hell of a chassis, um, it's kind of very close to TRF spec, but you can't, or as it's as the kit stands, you can't put a modified motor in it because the chassis flexes. No doubt someone will put a fix to that, but handling wise, and that is supposed to be right up there. I've read some amazing articles on it. Anyway, point being, that will take this modern day body shell because the shock towers are really low. So I think that would be the perfect candidate for the chassis. And then get one of these modern day chass uh, body shells and come up with a really cool paint job. Um, possibly a TRF paint job as well. Um, cause uh, I've got an idea in my head of how I want a touring car to be. Anyway, I digress. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, Dennis, Ken, if you're watching a massive thank you guys, massively appreciated for letting me borrow these cars to show and everyone else. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel, please give this video a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, say hello in the comments, um, subscribe if you haven't and turn all notifications on. That would be absolutely awesome. And as always, my friends, yeah, I know, happy hour seeing.